following the war with Bengal, uh, we're dealing with some uh, re uh, rebellions in the southern part of it, uh, in the southern part of India, specifically the Madurain and Gujarati separatists, which weren't even part of the Bengal War. Um, working on cores and also still dealing with the court and country uh, disaster. We're sitting at 70 absolutism right now, which is great. 65 is what we need to get the maximum benefit. And I'm, I'm also waiting on a couple of Bangles uh, rebels to hopefully finish their, uh, or enforce their demands. I don't know if they'll ever actually be able to, but I'm hopeful. It looks like they have reduced their war exhaustion. They're overextended? Where are they overextended at? What did that say? Growth of the business of draperies. Oh no, we've established a, solid, a colony in Sakam. Which, uh, Aragon beat us to the other two Taiwanese provinces. Which I would have liked to take myself. Um, what does, what does the Persian node look like right now? Alright. Uh, military access from Yarkin, no. Or Luwu, again, no. They're at war with Brunei. I need to turn my sights towards them, I think. Brunei and Majapahit. Paso has become self-sustaining. Waitaha. It's in Colonial Australia. I'd be tempted to put one uh, to send a colonist to uh, Wangare. Palawan. Um, there we go. It's a one zero zero development. A one development province. Not a three development province, a one development. The League of Herat. 48 per, uh, particulars. Herat doesn't have a fort. We've won the Siege of Lahore. Now. Go wait in the desert. Hopefully, we can get there before these guys manage to occupy anything. We're now at zero over extension. And it's time for a new war with Ethiopia. And we'll go ahead and call in Portugal and the Ottomans. Before I do that, Ottomans we are at max trust with, Portugal I'll increase by 10, Tunis I'll just increase all the way, uh, 
Oh, Tunis and Portugal are rivals. So, uh, I don't know how long our alliance with both of them will hold up. I don't know who I would choose to go with either. But, uh, I think Ethiopia is about to see an invasion. Uh, Mombasa. Not very strong. I would actually be willing to give Portugal uh, their capital if they t are willing to take it. Uh, Kaffa is not strong either. Sure, let's call it in. Uh, Barawa will probably be my war goal. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be a very one-sided war. Um, I'm going to bring my army down through here and go straight to Mombasa. Get them out of the war. Catching some fleets with our lights. We captured a transport. I don't really want it, so it sinks. We're trading in coffee. Brunei has annexed Lulu. Bamanis has fabricated claims on us. Disloyal officers. Lose army tradition and manpower. That's fine. Gain absolutism. I should have checked to see if I would have lost absolutism from the other choice. Zanzibar. Occupy, or we've uh, besieged Mombasa. An end to hostilities between court and country. The period widespread uh, obstruction of authority in the provinces has finally come to an end. The way we have handled the crisis will shape the way local power structures interact with the government in Delhi for the foreseeable future. The state is triumphant. Gain 15 prestige. Mughals gets crushed local power for the end of, for the rest of the game. Maximum absolutism plus 20. Which should put me maximum absolutism is 110. I think it maxes out at 100. So I can't go higher than that. Anyway, that's excellent. Um, that's harsh treatment. I kind of want to know what's going to happen to the Ottomans. Colonize Palawan, uh, Palawan, I mean to Ethiopia in regards to the Ottomans, because they are just going to steamroll them. Um, okay, we have five colonies. We have 
pretty much finished Mombasa. Friends in need, the Padisha Begum of our illustrious Padisha Fatima recently brought us a request from her family of a house half sit of Tunis. Apparently Sultan Hussein I has been facing some serious issues concerning the training of Tunis' soldiers and he has asked us, his most trusted friends, if we can help in any way. His letter is filled with compliments on our fine army and brilliant generals. One of our best generals will be sent to teach them about our methods. Lose military power, they get a helping hand. Um, sure, we'll help. And I'll give that straight uh, grade over to Portugal. Oh my god. Um, we'll also take four reparations. No, we won't. Oh, let's just take all of their money. You're welcome, Portugal. And I'm just going to go straight for my for the provinces that I want, and while all, simultaneously stopping uh, any of Ethiopia's armies or allies from uh, taking provinces that I hope to gain through this war. What are my uh, light ships set to? Any damage? Okay. Our ships are finally home. And we will make sure we're ready to declare a war against uh, Maratha and Golconda when the time is right. It will cost me 5,000 gold to embrace uh, many factories right now, at this very moment. Meanwhile, other stuff is actually really already kind of uh, starting to embrace it. Johnpur, Lucknow, uh, Katahar, and Delhi all have it. Uh, Bengal, has Bengal completely embraced it? I'm not sure, is there any way to tell? I don't know. So our uh, unrest is way down now. 
Trade Crisis. I will spend the 25 Diplo to uh, make sure that I have uh, or to make sure that I don't lose out on like however much trade it was. 15% I think. Our office has declared independence. Meaning it is time for us to declare war on Marathas. And which one is their capital? That one. So I want to go after that first. Uh, separate that army. Never mind. Go attack them. Should be a stack wipe. Maybe. Nope, not a stack wipe. Um, detach the artillery. Send these guys uh, to West Barar. Hey, we, I, we won that, right? Yeah. Need to make sure that I'm just, uh... Nope, let's go back here. Back to ghetto. Uh, they're going to Bardera. Let's go to Barwawa. Make sure we get the... I want to make sure I keep control of that. We won the Siege of Amadagar uh, already. And we'll catch them there. Which should be the stack wipe. There we go. This should be a hundred percent. Don't think I can get anything but land and money. Those guys will go down there. Tariffs on salt. Let's not do it. Now we'll just wait for the Ottomans to do everything they need to. Native Assimilation and Kandari. Uh, Medribari we can't piece out separately. Kaffa... Kaffa hasn't taken much lo uh, that many losses yet. Our merchants are doing per poorly. I guess we'll just have to tighten our belts. Diplomatic tech costs increase. Oh well, I'll take it. We have a lot of uh, bonuses to, uh, or uh, reductions to our tech costs, so I'm not worried. Land theft. Uh, favor neither party. I was going to say, are they both uh, disloyal right now? No, they're not. Is 
That, yeah, that's the four. Calf wants out. Somebody took their capital. I'll let them. You know what? No. Uh, annul your treaties with Ethiopia. And release a, release a country. I was hoping they might be uh, Muslim, but they're not. We'll take those guys and then actually Go like that. What is uh, Mamluk's aggressive expansion penalty for towards us? <laughs> Negative uh, 40 still. Won the Battle of Marib. Kandari is self-sustaining. What is our next... Palu. Okay. Where are our colonists? Sakam. I want to keep him there, I think. Palawan is... Yeah. Ooh, uh... Do I want to colonize there? Nah. Our minor trade crisis is over. We're making almost a hundred gold a month. And this war is pretty much over. We already have all of the uh, provinces outlined that we want. So, I want that, in all honesty, Portugal can take that. And I want, no, this is one that I want. <clears throat> I want, I was hoping to give the Ottomans something too. But that doesn't seem like uh, something that I am capable of doing. Still, both of those. And Ethiopia will... What? Oh, Portugal doesn't want that, do they? No? What? We built our weapons manufacturer in Bar uh, Margala. <clears throat> Colonize Pangasinan. Should 
sure we'll do it. Let's recall the colonists from here. And get some colonial enthusiasm. So, I'm still not sure why um, maybe once this siege is over, we've lost the siege of Medwa. Okay. We didn't even get a good uh, trade good in Sakam. Ming has uniform regulations. The enlistment armies of old are increasingly being replaced by more permanent national armies. As part of this process, many states have begun to regulate how the uniforms of their soldiers should look, and some have even begun to provide these uniforms themselves to their soldiers. Dye was never cheap, and with the increased demand, now put on both dyes and cloth prices are on the rise. Which is good for me, because I think I have a large portion of control of both. <clears throat> and once they occupy that, <clears throat> that last province... It should be 100% war score. Unless there's one over in Madribari. How about now? Now they'll accept. Those are, those are the provinces that I want. Give me money and war reparations. Cancel your subject. That's a lot of Diplo points. Still. Um, that's exactly 100% war score. I'm getting everything I want out of it. And helping my vassal, hopefully. Wait, okay, never mind. For a second, something didn't seem right, but it works. And now we core everything. Bring, let's uh, actually, before I do anything else, I want to make sure all of the forts are still relevant in that part of the world. And then I want to mothball all those forts. These guys can stop. Um, or those guys can uh, combine. And I can move all of my armies over to the east now. Second army. Fourth. He's not going anywhere weird, is he? No. Okay. Still have disloyal estates with the Ulema, but it's fine. So my trade power in Ethiopia should, or in the Gulf of Aden, should be I'm surprised. It's only sixty-eight percent. Um, let's make sure we have 
trade depots and the centers of trade. We do. All right, well. Now we have 71, okay. When does my truce with Baman ascend? Sixteen sixty-two, so six years. Seems like a decent time to maybe go to war with Majpahit or Malacca or Brunei. Brunei would give me more trade in the Malacca node, uh, but so would Malacca. Malacca is probably the better bet. Yeah, let's go with Malacca. And we have our fleet finally finished. Our heavy fleet, anyway. Spread of disease again. How much money do we need now to embrace? 5,000 still. Um, how is it spreading throughout the, throughout the rest of my provinces? Um, more absolutism would be good. Please go take care of that. Oh, shit, I just realized that decreases my my professionalism, doesn't it? But I do have enough professionalism. Yeah, that works. So let's raise an army over here. They'll occupy that. Diplomats died. This guy's 60. Bring all these guys together. We've lost one of our generals. Um, we'll enable drilling there and here and here. I want to get a new general. He's not great. Better than one of the other ones, but... Um... It's Harun Rumi. These guys will all have. Oh, Golconda has declared independence. Damn, I forgot to move my. I forgot to keep an army down there. Uh, force march. And 
also enable drilling there. I'm surprised uh, Bamanis didn't take advantage of that. Okay, so I will have that guy stop doing what he's doing. Bank, uh, Bamanis doesn't have a claim, dude. Oh no, they have a core. Huh. Even worse. Take Okanda. They're guaranteed by Bangle. Alright, I guess we're going to war with Bangle again. Independence of Bamanis and Golconda. Bamanis and Bang or Bamanis rivals Bangle, so there's no chance they get an alliance. But, uh, I mean, we can easily beat, uh, Bangle, like, no problems. Let's go ahead and increase the fort, or, uh, unmothball the forts closest to what will be the battle site. Specifically all of those, and the ones, there are a few more I know. There we go. So, Bring these guys through. Uh, that's the fifth, right? Yes. So we'll take that guy to the New World, uh, where he will engage with the Noble Rebels. these guys because now I have to actually wait a couple months before I declare this war otherwise I could be in trouble when it comes to maintenance or not maintenance uh, morale So such for casualties. Okay. And once they get to Quacky, uh, Quacky, I will put half there. And thanks to professionalism, I just go ahead and disband these and they return to my pool. These guys will get that guy back. And we'll declare a war on Golconda. Bang.
angles come in. So I want the other way around. And we'll bring in Coup in Golconda. The rise of a Hindu dynasty in Golconda has enraged the Muslim establishment in the area. A Muslim convert from the Golconda has now been enthroned to avoid an outright revolt while still keeping the dynasty in power. Excellent. So in other words, they, turn, they convert to Islam is what it is. Golkhan already wants out of this. And I'm guessing Bomanis will want out as well. Or not Bomanis, Bangle. And Siege of Patna is already over. We'll wait for them to lock themselves into going there, and then we'll uh, go deal with that. What was that? We lost claims? I think is what it said. Doesn't matter. We have the strongest trade power in California right now. My vassal actually took Maidu. Which will give me gold eventually, will it not? July 1685. So, not for a while. That's fine. Stack wipe them. Now we'll go defend our fortress in Gauda. We can embrace an institution. Anything close to having it embraced. Multan is at 84%. I'll wait a little bit. I don't want to take my, uh, you know what, no. Let's embrace it now. And a few more years left on uh, when I can, or when I'm not ahead of time on tech anymore. What is my next, my next idea group is a military one. Let's go ahead and make some states. You know what, no, I'll save the state making for the next episode and I will uh, uh, absolutely destroy Bangle again in the next episode as well. Um, right now we're waiting on the finishing of the siege in Golconda, so uh, then we'll move these, arm this, uh, these two armies in as well. And uh, I think that'll be like the death knell for Bangle power and uh, I will be trying to take as much land as th uh, from them as I can as well. Maybe. It depends on how much aggressive expansion I ha uh, have to put up with.